Prime Minister Narendra Modi addressed a post-budget webinar on the subject of economic empowerment of women. It was in the series of post-budget webinars organized by the government to seek ideas and suggestions for effectively implementing the initiatives announced in the Union Budget 2023. The Prime Minister expressed happiness that the country has seen this year's budget as an auspicious beginning for achieving the target of Vikasit Bharat by 2047. The budget has been seen and tested from the point of view of future Amrit Kaal. It is a good sign for the country that the citizens of the country are also looking at the next 25 years by linking them with these goals, he said. The Prime Minister reiterated that in the last nine years, the country has moved with a vision of women-led development. He continued that India has taken these efforts to the global stage as it is figuring prominently in the G20 meeting presided over by India. This year's budget will give new momentum to these efforts of women-led development, he said. Mr. Modi underlined the Nari Shakti's strengths of determination, willpower, imagination, ability to work for goals and extreme hard work as a reflection of Matra Shakti. He said these qualities are playing a major role in increasing the speed and scale of India in this century. The Prime Minister said today the results of efforts for women's empowerment are visible and we are feeling a revolutionary change in the social life of the country. He said that the number of women compared to men is increasing and the number of girls studying up to high school and beyond has tripled in the last 9 to 10 years. Girls' enrollment in science, technology, engineering and maths is at 43% today, more than countries like America, UK and Germany. In fields like medical, sports, business or politics, not only the participation of women has grown, but they are leading from the front. The Prime Minister touched upon the fact that 70% mudra loan beneficiaries are women. Similarly, women benefit from schemes for promotion of collateral free loans under Swanidhi and promotion schemes in animal husbandry, fisheries, village industries, FPOs and sports. Mr. Modi observed that the reflection of how we can take the country forward with the help of half of the country's population and how we can increase the potential of women power is visible in this budget. He mentioned Mahila Samman Saving Certificate Scheme where women are to get 7.5% interest. 80,000 crore rupees for PM Abbas Yojana is also a step in the direction of women's empowerment as most of the three crore houses are in the name of women, the Prime Minister said. He emphasized the empowering aspect of PM Awas in a scenario where traditionally women had no property in their name. PM Awas has given women a new voice in economic decisions of the household, he said. The Prime Minister informed about the announcement for the support to the self-help groups for creating new unicorns among SHGs. The Prime Minister illustrated the strength of the country's vision for women's empowerment with changing scenarios. Today, one out of five non-farm businesses is run by a woman. More than seven crore women have joined self-help groups in the last nine years. Their value creation can be understood by their capital requirement as these self-help groups have taken loans worth 6.25 lakh crores. The Prime Minister pointed out that these women are contributing not only as small entrepreneurs but also as capable resource persons. He mentioned the Bank Sakhi, Krishi Sakhi and Pashu Sakhi programs that are scaling new dimensions of development in villages. The Prime Minister dwelled on the transformation in the cooperative sector and role of women in the sector. More than 2 lakh multipurpose cooperatives, dairy cooperatives and fisheries cooperatives are to be formed in the coming years. A target has been set to connect one crore farm with natural farming. Women farmers and producer groups can play a big role in this, the Prime Minister said.